this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these inexpensive swarm traps. These traps cost a little over $7 a piece to make, and they're pretty easy to make as well. Let's get started. The overall volume of the traps is 40 liters, which is based off an experiment done by Cornell where they tried a few different size traps, and the 40 liter traps did the best as far as attracting the most swarms. The length and width are based off of a Langstroth nucleus hive, and this will hold five frames. I've made a little door here on the trap that I'll be able to use to just swing this around when I want to transport the bees, if I do catch a swarm, and in the meantime, I'll leave, just leave this open so the bees can get in. Inside the doorway here, there's a nail that's just uh, to prevent critters and other things from getting in. To make the entrance cover, what I did was I just glued a piece of nylon screen onto, um, onto a piece of wood and I had cut out a fairly large hole. I think this is like a two inch hole. I used a hole saw to cut this out and I didn't calculate the dimensions. I just eyeballed this and this is just cut off out of a piece of scrap wood that I had left over for my project. So getting back to this, I just lathered this up with glue. Then I put the screen on, maybe added a little bit more glue, rubbed it in. And then what I did was I used strips of masking tape to hold the screen down, let it dry, pulled the masking tape off, and the screen is nice and tight on there. And what I did is just put that in with a nail. I already showed you that part. Let's take a closer look at the construction of the swarm trap. I used SketchUp to model the traps. Then I used Inkscape to figure out how to cut up the sheet of plywood. A single sheet of 15 30 seconds plywood has enough material for three traps. Once all the pieces were cut, I assembled everything with 18 gauge brads and Type Bond 3 wood glue. Type Bond 3 is a weatherproof glue, so it should hold up well to the elements. A nail gun like I'm using here is relatively inexpensive, and it really comes in handy for projects like this. Let's go back to SketchUp and see how everything fits together. Don't worry if you don't hear me list a specific dimension. The SketchUp files, cut list, and cut diagram will all be posted on hackandbuild.com. Check the description for a link. The sides are cut 15 30 seconds shorter than the front and back to provide a spot to hang the frames. Two inch strips are nailed across the sides which act as handles and cover the gap. The cover is cut to the length of the trap including the handles and is made 15 30 seconds inches wider to accommodate a strip across the front. The original plan was to use this strip of wood to fasten it with screws to the trap along with some wooden brackets on the side of the trap. When I installed the brackets on one of the traps, I noticed I'd inadvertently sank a couple screws through the top of the frames. In the next design iteration, I'd consider using a latching mechanism of some sort to avoid driving in screws from the top of the box. So how I'm going to be hanging these is one's going to go on my back porch, so I'm not going to use a, a hanging uh, bracket for that. And I just made this strip of plywood here and uh, drilled a couple holes and then cut it out with my jigsaw. And that can, a, either a strap, like a load strap can go through this and or it can hang on a branch uh, on a tree limb. So I, I'm not sure where I'm gonna hang my other two traps. I probably will put another one in the backyard somewhere and then I may bring one to a friend's house. As far as baiting the frame goes, I did a couple of things. I took a chunk of beeswax and just rubbed it on the bottoms, the sides, and the um, comb guide here. I also did the same thing with the inside of the box. I rubbed beeswax on the surfaces on the inside. So now when you open up the box, it kind of smells like beeswax. Finally, before I deploy the, uh, the traps, I'm going to use this lemongrass oil here. I'll just apply a bit to a cotton ball or a swab and then just stick that inside the, the entrance. And I'm hoping that the combination between the lemongrass and the beeswax is going to make the trap smell absolutely irresistible to bees and I'll catch some swarms. And right now, uh, it's the middle of June, which is really the perfect time to catch swarms. Once I paint these traps, all I need to do is bait them with some lemongrass and wait for the bees to come. Hopefully I'll be reporting back with a successful catch of bees. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. As always, stay tuned for more hacks and builds. See you next time. Cheers.